Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another video. And if I sound like garbage today, it's because that's exactly how I feel. Um, boy, I've had a fever for the last, uh, I don't know, 36 hours or so. Has not broke yet. Um, got excited this morning because I saw white spots and gross crap at the back of my throat. I'm like, alright, I got strep throat. That's an easy one. You go to the doctor, get some uh, antibiotics, and before you know it, you're feeling better. And unfortunately, the strep test came back negative. And basically, the doc said, I either have some random virus, which is great, just a random virus. I, we don't know what it is, just a random virus. Or um, I have mono. And if I have mono, um, that's going to be awful. I've never had mono before, but I know it can last up to like a month. Um, and if I got that, boy, that's going to not be fun. So anyway, I'm hoping I don't have mono. I'm hoping I just have some random virus. And uh, we're going to do a little Hot Wheels therapy today. I feel like crap, but I want to crack some cars. Um, I don't know, whatever. So starting with, we got the 60s muscles. Yeah, I apologize about this camera angle here. But 60s muscle. The hottest blast from the past. See, so yeah, my fever is like only like 101, so it's not super high grade, but it's enough to give me the chills. I kind of have a sore throat. It's just very, very annoying. Um, I really want to make it to K Day this Saturday, so I guess I really don't care if I'm contagious and I get some fellow collectors sick. You just have to stay away from those cases. Give me first, or you know, or give me last dibs. We'll see what happens. Anyway, we're gonna crack open this five pack. This five pack is from 1995 or 96, and um, I actually remember getting this five pack when I was a kid. Right. There it is. We'll pull these out one by one. We got the Cobra. Sort of a San Francisco 49ers color scheme. Maybe if this was a little more red than like magenta or whatever. Or not magenta, maroonish. Uh, hood opens on this one. Pretty sweet. If we can get it open. That doesn't open much further than that. I'm not going to force it. So that's pretty cool. There's your Cobra. Uh, this is an old 442. Pretty sweet. So yeah, these have been sitting in the package since 95, so over 20 years. That's kind of a sweet one. Uh, Corvette split window. The coolest Corvette ever. There's that. Focus a little better. Pretty sweet. All oh, these are basic, real basic color schemes. Some have stripes. Then we got this like uh, pink, like blown Corvette. It's a big engine. This is my least favorite out of the five pack. Still pretty cool. Um, and then we got <clears throat> this Camaro. This is the best one in the five pack for sure. This casting is awesome. Hood opens on it. Metal on metal. Basic paint scheme. looks really nice. I really like this casting. This casting is great. So there's that. I feel a little bit better. Um, then I'm going to crack some vintage stuff for you just because it's on yellow cards. This is a uh, old ultra hot. This is from 19, well copyright date is 1983 so probably 1984. So my head's so cloudy right now I can't even do the math on that. But, oh the blister just crumbles apart. So here's this. Not really a too not really too cool of a casting, but it is like Zamac, which is kind of neat. Just Zamac and some tampos. It's a heavy bugger. Probably quick on the track. It's metal on metal. So that's pretty cool. This is heavy. Really heavy actually. It's got ultra hot wheels. I bet you this thing is really fast downhill. So there's that. We got a couple more here. I'll save the best one. I'll save the best one for last, of course. Next one, we've got 
Mercedes 380 SEL. This is in the Speed Fleet series. The reason why I'm cracking this one is because someone cut the UPC out to send it in for a mail-in. Um, other than that, the card is crispy, but uh, it's not a mint card if it's got a cut thing. This is from 1980, the 1989 Collector Series, which is the series I remember, I think, a lot the most from being a kid. Uh, so there's your Mercedes. 380 SEL in white with ultra hot wheels. Pretty sweet. Of course, metal on metal. Just a nice looking basic car. So there's that. And then we got this one. This is a 57 T Bird. Same deal with this guy. UPC is cut out. Um, this one is from 19, well, it's 1986 date. So probably 1987. There's the back of the car. Um, this one's pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and open it. And there's that one. Really nice looking. So what was the date on this? 1987 probably. So almost 30 years. Right? Am I doing that right? I don't know. Probably not. No, not 30. Yeah, whatever. Close to 30 years, right? No, like over 20 years, whatever. Anyway, like I said, my head's a little cloudy right now because I got a little bit of a fever. But um, there's that. This is actually a really cool piece. Uh, Fordsman 84, let me know if you don't have this one. I'm sure that you do, uh, Wade, but uh, if you don't, let me know. Uh, so there's that one. And the best one, I think, is probably this one right here, the hair splitter. Black wall carded. This one is almost 30 years old, right? Or more than 30 years old. Uh, from 1980. I'm guessing 1981. Yeah, okay. It says collect all the vehicles for 1981. This card is completely trashed. It's a staple holding it together. And the blister is extremely yellowed. Um, I know these mint on card sell on eBay for a decent amount of money. But uh, there it is, free, free the peace, you guys. Shout out to Lamar Fashion. There's your VW Rabbit with a cool uh, spare tire on the on the top, and just a really cool old piece. Uh, the hood opens; it's plastic. I actually don't want to open it because I do not want it to get it stuck open. I rather like the way it looks closed, so we're just going to leave it closed because it's got that plastic hood on it, and it's probably, you know, brittle by now. But there she is. So, that's it. We just cracked a couple of uh, cars. A little Hot Wheels therapy. Uh, I'm really hoping my fever breaks tonight, and I don't have mono, and that I can make it to K-Day with no problems. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be pretty much it. So anyway, you guys, thanks for watching this, uh, this video and, uh, have a great day.